everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I'm so excited to share with you guys my latest journal collection, my first for 2020. Yay! Um, this is the Retro Cooking Journal Collection and it was all inspired by this book. So this book, I, I was always wanting to make some cooking journals. It's a theme on my very, very long list of themes of journals to do. But I love this book that it's retro and so vintage is my all-time favorite theme and the fact that it has these pictures like this not only does it have gorgeous illustrations but it also has vintage ads and retro um, illustrations like this so I just was like yay to pair the two this is so fun and there were so so many pages in this book that I actually made 14 journals <laughs> Um, and they all have their kind of unique themes. I'm turning the cover into a traveler's notebook actually, so that will be fun. Um, but my inspiration for these journals was not just the retro cooking theme, but those vintage sewing journals I did last year. I'll leave the link below to a flip through of those if you want to see that. Um, but they were paper bag journals too with the sewing around the cover, which I did for the first time. And um, I really, really love it. And then my other inspiration was my personal Granny Chic journal where I used pages from this book as the pages in the journal and the only embellishments were pockets that I sewed in from the book itself. So I'll just show you, yeah, pockets like that. So um, yeah, I was just, I really love the simplicity of this and I love that um, it all works together. The theme works together, obviously with the pages and the embellishments. So with these ones, these are embellished journals and my theme as well or thought or purpose behind these with the kind of concept I guess is that it's not just cooking, um, it's more like home and family and tradition and filling it up with special memories of those three things, home, family and tradition. So that's what the ephemera in these journals relates to, so yeah. Um, okay, so actually these two have already been have already been sold. So Patron Robin bought these. I did a, a sneak peek of these on Patreon, and she said that she likes these two covers the most. And so, they I thought I'd better um, film these video these journals now so I can package these up and send these to her. And I hope that she absolutely loves them and enjoys filling them up. She already said that she's going to fill them up with recipes and her own ephemera. So I was like, yay! That's so exciting that how she's going to use those. Um, so I won't do a flip through of those ones, but these guys, let's see, there's a few different themes that I've done. Um, I always start with a cover and then the cover tells me how I'm going to do the journal, what pages to choose. Like I don't do random very well. Um, the cover always tells me the theme to work with, to try to carry on through the journal throughout as much as possible, you know, working with the pages that you have. So these three are tea themed which is kind of fun. I think they're my favorite of the whole collection. And then these two are Christmas themed. And then these three are game type of children's themed-ish. <laughs> and then these, oh, this is like a baby themed and breakfast themed. So I was thinking, you know, baby, the earliest stage in life. Because the book divided it up, was divided in chapters of like breakfast, lunch, dinner, Christmas, um, milk bar, um, baking, all that kind of thing. So I put the breakfast chapter in this one because it's like the first meal you have of the day and the baby, you know, the first stage of life. So that's that kind of theme. And then these three are more like the retro, the straight retro theme. And I made these two a bit more classy because, you know, they're out at a restaurant or something, so, or a bar. Um, I'm not sure where to start because there's just so many. <laughs> but let's go with, I suppose, these ones. Another thing to note is I branched out in my sewing for the first time. I've always done the zigzag, but now that I feel more comfortable with the sewing machine, I tried the straight stitch for the first time. So some of the covers have the straight stitch. And my first two that I did, only did I only did one line of stitching and I wish I did more because what I realized was I prefer the kind of rustic handmade messy look and so I wish yeah, I did a couple more lines or at least one more line to add to that like it just gives it a bit more texture and dimension but yeah I didn't know for my first go um, but this yeah I was like at first I was trying to sew straight and then I realized 
no, I actually like things when it does this. That, that gives it so much more interest and character. But anyway, good to know for next time. Um, let me show you the backs. And some of them you'll notice have like a um, ripped edge. So Johanna Clough has got me into using more of the ripped look. Again, more for just that organic, natural look, handmade look and rustic as well. Um, but it just depends on, yeah, so some of these are straight edges. Uh, it just depends on the journal whether you get a more ripped look or a more straight edge. Um, okay, so let's do a flip through of this one here. I'll get these out of the way. Okay, so with this theme, I tried to use many, you know, cups and saucers and teapots for the tea theme. This is um, cooking paper that I got from an op shop, and all of these journals have the same layout, the same set of embellishments, with a tiny few variations and the same you know sewn in pockets and everything so you'll see all that um so this one has an index card here and like a purchase order page here and my idea behind all the ephemera is like it's not just cooking it's about home life and family life so what did the family have to purchase um what did the family have to remember there's all oh, these pages here i've got from the op shop too um things to get done you know what's the family to-do list water intake <laughs> uh, today's top three prior priorities and this one's like a, a, a vintage library card so it's authentic vintage and um i tried to choose ones that related to the theme where possible but you know you just had to go with the library card but wisdom passing it down to children that kind of thing some of them talk more about um a civilization or um equations like this one so this is a flashcard with an equation, so teaching your kids maths or learning maths at school. Um, there's vintage ledger papers in these, and of course pages from the book itself. And each one has like a food card, a different type of food. This one's got parsley. There's also um, a colouring in page, because again my thoughts being what were the interests of kids and people back then. Um, well, you know, I used to always love colouring in when I was a kid, so that's like a pastime for me. Um, maybe the parents love to read, or um, that's why I've got the library card in there. Um, and maybe the kids love to play a board game or something, or one of the kids really loved maths. Um, yeah, and I could just see myself filling up this journal, not so much to do with cooking, but just writing down my memories of my childhood and where I grew up and what it was like growing up in the 80s and what it was like going to my school, what my neighbourhood was like, what family traditions we had, all those kind of things. Um, but yeah, of course, you can use it however you want. <laughs> this is actually vintage sheet. All the fabrics in this journal are vintage. Again, not cooking related, but you know, everyone has to sleep in a bed. <laughs> Um, and so maybe this was the daughter's um, sheet that she had <laughs> or I think it's a doona actually not a sheet and like this one the telephone message card so things like you know the changes when I grew up we had a phone with a cord and then we had a cordless phone and now we just have mobiles <laughs> so recording things like that um, and then we have a little coin envelope here so you can record something special in there uh, yeah, I was saying that, yeah, of course, you can just record recipes in here, but um, this is vintage sheet as well. No, this one is vintage sheet, yeah. And it's like, um, or maybe this was Duna as well. I can't remember. Anyway, but it's like this really luxurious yellow gold. In this pocket, I thrifted these gorgeous, they're kind of like shell buttons, so they're iridescent and kind of shiny. And tea bag, obviously, that calls back to... Um, the home having tea and I guess the cooking cooking theme I try to put a pretty picture on the inside or at least a picture that represents the theme where possible and um, this is like a copy of my find of a vintage grammar book so again call back to going to school and this one's actually got expenditures and things so you know the parents may have kept a record of their finances this gorgeous gorgeous lace There's some vellum paper or page, note paper here, which is from that um, colouring book that was interspersed with note paper, so I put a note paper in there too. A playing card, I just love the vintage patina to this card. 
So maybe the family played um, cards around the table. <laughs> this is vintage fabric as well. How beautiful is that? And maybe that was um, a dress that the girl wore or something that her mum sewed her. Doily. This paper, again, I love the vintage patina to it um, that I found in an op shop as well. More colouring in the paper. Another, um, what's it called, equation flash card. I like how one side is pink and one is blue. Another index card here, a blue one, which is really cool. A paint chip. Maybe that's the colour that their house was painted inside a room or something. <laughs> Love the teacup and saucer. Another, this is a green index card, and we have um, another purchase order slip. So that's good for writing space as well, as well as interest. And at the back, I just added a few more things because I just wanted to include all these vintage ideas that I had. So, you know, the postcards, these are from my Etsy um, digitals, and there's the these two receipt thingies. So you've got the top copy and the other copy love those numbers at the bottom there and this like <laughs> you know growing up I remember having the telephone book not the telephone book the address book by the telephone and you know now we don't have that it's all just stored into <laughs> a mobile phone but yeah I thought that was kind of fun to remind me of those memories and then they all have a gardening card as well because um, you know gardening is something that I grew up with with both parents like loving to garden so another home family tradition in there represented as well so you can use those to just you know a jumping off point for inspiration for this journal um, use them take everything out use them in your own journals or whatever or keep them all in here and use them as you wish so um, that's that one I there's so many I'm not just um, I'm not going to do a flip through of all of them because they all are very very similar the same page layout same thing they've got my normal um, structure of a paper bag journal with 25 pages folded to give 50 which is a hundred front and back so lots of writing space but the yeah, same embellishment same kind of layout occasionally a page may be shorter or taller or wider or narrower but they've got the same buttons same bits and pieces it's the same order and they have all have the same amount of embellishments and the same types of embellishments, the same fabrics. So I'll just like, I don't know, give you a quick little flip just in case this helps you <laughs> if you're interested at all in these journals and the cover doesn't tell you which one you may like. Maybe the inside will do that. Um, and then let's just do the game piece ones. So this one's more like the lunch milk bar themed, which is kind of cool. Um, these t three journals are different because they don't have this card. All the other journals do. Uh, it's just a recipe card that I got from an op shop and there were only 10 of them. So I thought that was cool. So in the other journals, it's just an index card. But yeah, like look at those retro pictures. That same embellishment, same layout. These are those vintage ads, which is so cool. So you can see this one's a shorter page. Then the other journal, again a vintage ad, a vi another vintage ad from the magazine, and you can see it, <laughs> sorry, here. More vintage ad, Marmite, who likes Marmite? <laughs> popcorn, love the rich retro popcorn. And the postcards and things in that one. Oh, I should show you the backs of these covers. So there's that one, there's this one, that old telephone, the dominoes with like a another vintage ad from the magazine and just the retro, look at that wallpaper type thing. <laughs> look at that. So cool. Again, this is like a lunch themed one. So these ones are more child themed and so my theme for the food pages was lunch. <laughs> Again, to kind of go with the baby themed one was breakfast and so the child themed ones I went for lunch and then the other these classier ones with the adults is more like dinners so yeah I know it's kind of crazy how I my mind works <laughs> making these associations but yeah I just don't do random very well <laughs> so more lunchy type pages in this journal okay and then oh, all the postcards 
Okay, I've never done 14 journals in one go before. It was crazy. I was just like oh, working on these for days and days and days, you know, getting the covers ready, getting all the pages ready, um, and then finding all the pockets, cutting them all out, arranging them all, then sewing them on, and then adding all the ephemera, or binding them first, then adding all the ephemera, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is taking forever, and I had that thought, you know, I'm never making 14 journals in one go again, <laughs> um, so let's see this one, but the thing is, it's just, if I'm inspired, and there's enough pages to go, then it tells me how many to make <laughs> so yeah like breakfast pages in this one rise and shine so and there's a lot of yellow themed in this one too breakfast so yeah I get another ad cornflakes so breakfast cereal that's why I chose that particular ad for this journal and that's that one and Let's do the classy ones. I call these the classy ones. So there's lots of wine glasses in this one because it's like a going out for dinner. So again, the wine. <laughs> See, I, I just can't do random. <laughs> um, and like a meal setting, like a dinner setting. Another glass there. I thought that was a cool old camera. Another glass. And then look how... I, I just thought that was kind of classy with the fancy <laughs> plate and the feather <laughs> so yep that is that one and then this one here again you'll notice the same kind of classy theme but this one has a bit of a different um, vibe to it um, I just chose a different chapter which is the supper club so it has more of these refined um, pictures in it but of a different style so that's the middle page of that one and yeah <laughs> let's let's just get through this and then oh I didn't show you the back of this one or the back of that one so this was actually a page that I just cut in half but you can see it works together um did I show you the backs of these yes I did show you the backs of those ones did I show you the back of this one so I put like a mother and a child to go with that theme so that's the back of that one and then this one you'll notice that one of them had the, that for the back and then it's got this vintage ad here with these cute little cartoon ladies. <laughs> and this one, um, the theme was more just, this one's the most, one of the most eclectic, but just meals, um, all different meals, <laughs> lunch meals, dinner meals. Uh, I put the cracker ad in the middle to go with the cracker ad on the back. Um, because yeah, once you use all a certain amount of pages, eventually you just, um, you've got to kind of fit a theme <laughs> to the pages that are left rather than um, it all coming together. Look at that ad, I love those kind of ads. So as much as possible I tried to put just a fun food theme in that one. <laughs> and then last of all, these are the Christmas journals. So all of these ones will be up in my Etsy. Um, I'll leave a link to Willowbound Journals below if anyone's interested. Um, but these ones, I'm not sure if anyone will be interested because, you know, Christmas is past. So if that's the case, I'll just take them out and save them for <laughs> Christmas this year. Um, this one's more traditional themes, like the green and the yeah, uh, green and yellow, green and red. Um, so just give you a quick look, but all the same kind of things. Um, like there's a wreath there and this one's more pale themed and blue and white themed the Christmas decorations where possible again you just have to do what you can with what pages you've given or what pages you have Christmas baubles so it's more pale green and the white and blue so I love that Christmas cake and that Christmas cake too in the middle so yeah all right, I'm going to just end it there. <laughs> if you want to have a closer look at any of them, just let me know and I can do a flip through for you. Um, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what's inside and the different themes. And hopefully the covers are um, enough to kind of show you what is the theme inside as well. But yeah, I'll put the listing up and 
I think, yeah, I'm not sure how I'll do it. I might break up the Christmas ones in their own listing, the tea ones in their own listing, the game piece ones in their own listing by, by theme like that. So, yeah, um, that might be the easiest way to do it. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so, so much for um, watching. I hope that you like this collection. It was a very fun one to do, you know, just working with such awesome pictures and, and a really fun theme. And I do hope if anyone does get these that yeah you just fill it up with special special things, special memories and recipes and thoughts and traditions and heirlooms and all that kind of thing. So awesome guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!